most of these patients have failed one, two, three, uh, many times more medications. Uh, they've been suffering for, for years. So it's important to find a medication that works for them. But then secondly, uh, to find a medication that works quickly. Traditionally, it's always been the case that antidepressant medications, the drugs such as uh, fluoxetine, Prozac, they take weeks or months to exert their, their effects. And more recently, it's been discovered that the anesthetic drug ketamine, when you give it at sub-anesthetic uh, doses, these are doses that are not anesthetic, that don't produce dissociation, but they have rapid antidepressant effects. So a single administration of ketamine at these low doses has been found to rapidly treat symptoms of depression. It's approved as an anesthetic drug, so it's not gone through the uh, uh, phase three testing that would prove that it's, it's safe when administered over long periods of time. It's usually used as a, a, a last resort treatment. That has to do in part in where we are in the science and understanding for whom it's effective, but also because of the, uh, the side effects, which include anesthetic effects, dissociative effects, even psychotic effects, even at these low concentrations, and also there's a significant abuse potential. Mm -hmm. So in almost all cases, ketamine is administered in a hospital setting or in a clinic setting. It's not a medication that patients are taking home with them.